In this lesson, I'm going to introduce you to the layers. When I first started using Photoshop, I didn't see the importance of using them. I thought they were complicated and confusing, but actually I realized that they are a vital part to learn when designing in Photoshop. So hopefully by the end of this lesson, you will feel more comfortable using them. First of all, make sure you have your layers window open. It might not be in the same place as mine, but don't worry, just make sure you can see that. If you can't, go up to Window and down to Layers. You might, when you first see it, have it bunched up like this. So make sure just to pull down. If you hover over the edge there, you'll see arrow keys. Pull this down so that you have lots of space to see this panel here. OK, so first of all, what are layers? Well, layers are a method in which we can work on separate elements within our designs. One way of describing how layers work is liking it to if you were scrapbooking or making a collage. So this is like adding layers on Photoshop. You start with a blank piece of paper, or in this case, our background, and you add pieces upon pieces to it to build up our image. And this is exactly what we will do with Photoshop. We will add layers upon layers upon it. Layers can contain graphics, images, backgrounds, text, and they can all be arranged, hidden, duplicated, grouped, removed, so the advantages of working in layers is that you can easily delete or edit any part of your design without having to start over. It's a much cleaner and efficient way to work. So especially when you get into more complicated designs. So it's definitely vital to use them. Let's get some practice. So how about we go up to file and place an image again like we did in a previous video. I'm going to choose my peach flower. This time make sure to make it a PNG file because the PNGs have a transparent background to them. So we're just going to place that. And again, to place your image, double click on your screen. Now over on our right hand side, we can see that we have a peach flower in our layers panel. So when you want to move it around, you can see that you've got it selected and then you can move this piece. We can rename this. So double click on the area and then type in your what you'd like to rename it and click out for when you're done. Let's add some more pieces. A quicker way of adding pieces to your canvas, I'm just going to move Photoshop out a little bit. I've got my finder here. I'm going to use my green stock, just drag and drop. And again, double click. And cream buds. Make sure again that you've got the PNG file. Double click and all your images will be placed. Can you notice that I have my green stock here and my cream buds now appear in my layers panel? So again, you can click on your layer and move the images around. So if you want the green stock to move, make sure that layer is selected and then you can move it around. Again as well, make sure to have your move tool selected for this. Now, as you can see, wanting to move different parts of your design can be a bit tedious going back and forth to your layers panel and back to your canvas. So I'm going to show you some quick ways to do this. First of all, I'm going to show you a way to select your images on your canvas by clicking on the image that you want. So hovering over it and then use your command or control key on your keyboard. Hold that down and click. And can you see now that it moved and has selected the peach flower? So again, hold your command or control key down and click on it and it will have selected your image. So this is a really good way of quickly getting around and selecting your pieces on your canvas. Another way to do this is by using this feature here at the top with your move tool selected in the top menu, you will see auto select. This means that you can simply move and click on your image without even having to use your keyboard. So this is another great way. You can also hover over onto your canvas, drag and draw over the images that you want to select. And you can see that all three images have been selected. And that means that you can move them all at the same time. The only disadvantage of using this tool is sometimes when you're wanting to move images around, you end up double clicking on a few images. So the first method that I showed you by holding command or control on your keyboard is actually quite precise way of being able to 
click and select certain images. But it's entirely up to you what method you prefer. So I would recommend just getting used to clicking and moving pieces around onto your canvas. Next, we're going to talk about rearranging our layers. So perhaps we wanted to change the order of the pieces. We like this peach flower, but we want the leaves to be behind our flower. So at the moment, we can see that they're in front of it. So to do that, simply go over to your layers panel, hover over the side and grab, pull it down, and it will go underneath your peach flower. And you can see it's done the same onto your canvas. We can then move around this piece. I'm going to do the same with the cream buds. Drag and drop, move it behind your peach flower. The top image on your uh, layers panel will be the top image on your canvas. So we can see that we can move pieces around again until we've got something that we like. Another great feature is that you can copy your layers very easily. So say for example, we like this cream bud and we wanted some more. So if you go across to your layers panel, hover on this bit and pull it and pull it down to the bottom where you're going to select new layer. This icon looks a bit like a piece of paper with the edge folded up. Let go on there and you will have a cream bud copy. You won't be able to see it yet because it's copied right on top of the other image. But with your move tool selected, you can just simply move it around and you can see this cream bud appear. A quicker way of doing this is select the layer using command or control or your auto select feature. Then hold down your alt key on your keyboard. The alt key will bring up a small white arrow beside your black one and just simply drag and move and a copy will appear. As you can see on your layers panel, it's now entitled Cream Buds Copy 2. With too many layers though, we can easily delete. So to do that, again, I'll select your layer and pull it down to the trash can. And there your image will be deleted. Again, select the layer that you don't want. And then you can hit your delete button on your keyboard. Perhaps you're not sure about one of the elements in your design, say these cream buds. Go over to the eye icon and you can toggle this on and off. And this will make the layer visible or invisible. And then you can decide whether you like this part of your design or not. Maybe we really like this arrangement of our flowers and leaves and buds. But if we move one of the layers, the arrangement is messed up. I'm just going to undo that. To do that again, go up to edit and step backward. So we want to combine these layers together. There are two different ways of doing this. The first one is to group the layers together and it's basically like putting them in a folder. So we want to go over to the layers panel and select the layers that we want to group together. To do that, hold command or control on your keyboard and select each layer that you want. Drag and hold this down and pull it down to the icon that looks like a folder. Let that go and you can see that a new group has been created and automatically entitled group one. You can rename this one by double clicking on it and then clicking out. Okay, so basically all our images are now placed within a folder. If you click on this drop down menu, you can see all your pieces. The good thing about this is that it is still editable. So you can select your images within your folder and move them around. When you want, you can just close up your folder and then you can move your image around your canvas just how you would like it. If you're not happy with this arrangement anymore and you don't want them in a the group, simply right click onto your layer and then go down to ungroup layers and all your layers will appear again. Perhaps you really like this arrangement though and you want to more permanently combine these layers together. So you're going to merge them together as one, almost like gluing them. So select the layers that you want to combine. Mine are selected already, but just to show you that again, hold down command or control on your keyboard and then click. We're going to right click on any of the layers and go down to merge layers. Your layers will now appear as one layer as a whole finished image. And then you can again move it around to how you like. 
So every time you go to create something new, first make sure to create a new layer. But this icon here with the page with the upturned edge, click on that and a new layer will appear. So anytime you want to add text or graphics or backgrounds or anything like that, do this first. If you're placing an image, then a new layer will automatically be created. The reason for working on a new layer, it means that anything that you do on this particular layer will not affect what you have previously done. So it's a really, really great way to work. Also make sure that whatever you're doing, you are working on not the layer that you've completed, but your new layer. So always check on your layers panel what layer you are on when you're working.